In this video, we will look at how to enable an alert dialog box on a Unity Android app, as shown on the screen. First, we will start with creating a new Android library module. We will need a Unity activity for this project, so we will start with creating a variable to hold the Unity activity and a method to get Unity activity from Unity to the plugin. More detailed information is given in the video above, as this video is also part of the Unity Android plugin series, you are also requested to go through previous videos for better understanding. After that, create an alert dialog builder variable and a method create alert, which will initialize and create an alert dialog. Inside the createAlert method, first, initialize a new alert dialog.builder passing the Unity activity received from Unity. Then set the top heading of the dialog using the setMessage function. We will also enable the set cancelable, as this will enable us to cancel the dialog by clicking anywhere on the screen and need not force us to always interact with the alert dialog. Now here we can add multiple buttons on the alert dialog. This is the documentation for alert dialog which shows multiple options that can be added. You can either set a negative button, neutral button, positive button, or enable an option to select multiple or single items from a list. For this tutorial, we will use positive button and negative button only. Use builder.set positive button, set the button text to yes. Then we will add a listener for on click on the button, here he will just disable the alert dialog. and output the log message when the yes button is clicked. Do the same for negative button. After that create a new method show alert which will create alert dialog from previously initialized alert dialog builder and show the alert dialog. Then we will just build the project and navigate to the output directory, which is build, outputs, AR. Then we will move to Unity Project, this is the Unity Project used in previous video. We will start by creating a new folder for Alert Dialog, 
Inside it as usual create folders for plugins which will store your Android plugins, another folder for scripts which will store all your C Sharp scripts and another one for scenes to store your Unity scenes. Create a new scene and open it. Copy your build plugin to plugins folder and create a new C Sharp script, alert dialog manager inside scripts folder and open it. Here follow the same method to send the Unity current activity to the Android plugin. Watch the above video for more information. Then add a method createAlert, which will call the createAlert function from the plugin. Similarly add a new public method which will call showAlert from the Android plugin, this will be called every time a button is clicked from Unity. Now we will call the initialize plugin at start, here the plugin name will be package name dot class name, which can be copied from the Android Studio project. We will also call the create alert. Next go to Unity, create a new UI button. Add the script to any game object in the scene and set the on-click event of the created button to show alert in the previously created script. Here is the screen of Android phone shown. Go to Build Settings, add the active scene, and build the app. Go to the Logcat in Android Studio to see output of Android Log, Type Unity in search to show only Unity related outputs. Here on the Android screen, when clicked on alert button, it pops up an alert dialog box which displays your previously set message along with two buttons, yes and no, as created via alert dialog builder. When clicked on yes it outputs the logs corresponding to yes button. Same for the no button. Now we will implement a callback functionality so that we can receive the result of interaction with alert dialog in Unity and do something with it. For this first, we will create a Java interface called alertCallback, here we will include two public methods for positive and negative buttons, 
both taking a string as an input. Note, here using a single public method will work just fine, and as the input to this method will be received in Unity, one can use it to condition between different options. Now go back to your Java class and change the createAlert method to take alert callback as an input. Inside the onClickListener event of the positive button, call the onPositive method from the alert callback, passing string input which is to be sent to Unity. Do the same for the negative button, just replacing onPositive with onNegative. Here as previously mentioned using only one method for both will work just fine. Now build the plugin and once again copy it to the plugins folder in Unity Assets. Now go back to the Unity C Sharp script, here we will create a new class, Android Plugin Callback that will inherit from the Android Java Proxy. Create a constructor for the same with base name as the package name dot interface name. Then add the same two methods as an alert callback interface, here for both of them we will include a debug log which is triggered every time these methods are called from the Android plugin, printing their respective string inputs. Now the only change we have to do is pass this new constructor to your create alert method present in the plugin, which can be easily done. Now go to your Unity editor and build the app. Switch to Android Studio Logcat to see the log output. Here as we click on the alert button, the alert dialog appears. When clicked on yes it outputs not just the log message from the plugin but also the Unity debug log and the input passed to it from the plugin. The same can be seen when clicked no, here you can just replace the debug log with any additional functionality that needs to be called when clicked on the respective buttons.